exhausted. I just got back from doing an entire month's worth of grocery shopping. So what that means is I bought everything our family of five needs that will last in the fridge, freezer, and pantry for 30 days. Now, I usually share this monthly grocery haul. I'm not sharing it because I had a request that I wanna cover. I had a request to see what foods we're buying for dinner and then what foods we're specifically buying for snacks. So I'm gonna break this down into two videos. Today's video, I'm gonna show you all of the groceries I bought specifically for dinner. And then in the following video, I'm gonna show you all of the foods that I bought for breakfast, lunch, and snacks. I'm also gonna give you a total price breakdown um, to show you how much of our $500 monthly budget, and this covers miscellaneous too, so non-food items, how much of that actually goes towards our dinners and then how much goes towards everything else. Welcome back, I'm Brittany and this is Pennies Into Pearls. This is where I help families eliminate the stress so they can spend their time and their money on things that they value most. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I share tips all the time. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. All right, so let me show you how much of this stuff was for dinner. Are you ready? I think you might freak out and see how little of this is actually for our dinners. Now, one thing to keep in mind, and this is a huge tip, so if you're distracted, pay attention. My huge tip for meal planning and grocery shopping on a budget is this. First, you have to have a meal plan, okay? That's gonna help you stick to a budget. Second, have your grocery list and then shop your fridge, freezer, and pantry first before you even start looking at the sales on the stores. That is the first place you need to look. So you have your grocery list, look through your house and see what you can substitute and be creative. Um, let me know, would it be helpful to you guys if I put together um, like a resource for you to um, give you ideas on substitution? So like what different cuts of meat would be more affordable and substitute cheeses, those are a more expensive item, things like that. So I went through my grocery list that I have inside of my meal planning on a budget membership and um, I'm doing some substitutions. Like it called for a couple different cheeses. You'll see I only bought two kinds. Now the other thing is I have a monthly budget of $40 and I call that my sales budget. And what that sales budget is, is I have $40 every month and when I see a good price, whether it's on toiletries, on um, pantry items, on meat, I will stock up but I don't use it every single month. Like my freezer has been packed for a while um, because we got some amazing prices on meat. So you'll see that I bought very little meat to go along with our dinners because I'm subbing out a lot of stuff. We have a ton of pork in our fridge or in our freezer right now. I still have a ton of ground beef. Um, my meal plan for this month called for some like ground turkey, some ground chicken. Um, I'm just gonna sub it out for what I already have at home. So. All of the groceries, here's what is actually for the dinners. Keep in mind, for everything in this video and the next video, our budget's $500 total for the entire month. Oh, okay, let me show you. This is it. For a family of five, this is all the food I needed to buy. So we are gonna be having hamburgers actually twice this month. We have a birthday for my daughter that we're doing hamburgers and hot dogs. Um, and then with the leftovers, we're gonna have another hamburger night later down the month. Now I only meal plan five meals a week, which would be another huge tip to help you save money. One of those nights, since it's only five nights, on the sixth or seventh night, we do what I call a pantry night. And so we're actually gonna have a pantry night tonight um, and have this super easy, clean ingredient meal. I'm gonna serve it with some veggies and some rice. Um, and this was only about $10, this was $20. So I only bought two types of cheeses. Last month I didn't buy any cheese because I will buy this and I will buy this at Costco. It's a two pack. I'll buy both of these and then sub out in recipes for either one. So um, this is for the birthday dinner that we're having this weekend. I needed some sliced olives. 
I needed three cans of petite diced tomatoes, but I already had two, so I only needed to buy one. Um, some to tomato paste, some tomato sauce for a couple different recipes, some barbecue sauce, some tater tots for a recipe. Now this is gonna be another one of those things for pantry nights and we have toppings that we just put on or the kids just like it plain. So it's a four pack and this was only like $10. So that's an amazing deal at Costco. And then these are each about a dollar and um, we're going to have a couple different pasta recipes in this month's meal plan and the kids will have pasta and then hubby and I will just have zoodles to go along with it. Here's one more thing I forgot to mention. Another part to my grocery shopping strategy is that we budget $35 a week for fresh produce. So in my big grocery, monthly grocery hauls, you don't see the fresh stuff because I buy that weekly or bi-weekly, depending on what our schedule is like. Okay, so I got a head of kale, that was about two bucks. A head of romaine lettuce. Here is some cilantro. Two red bell peppers. We've got some baby carrots. These are all for like recipes. A lot of times we'll do a side salad or side veggie with our family's dinner. So um, some green onion, asparagus. That's gonna be one of our um, side, side veggies this month, or no, this week. Um, broccoli, side veggie, um, and then these were on sale. This is just a special treat. We love these. The spicy one, so good. I don't like the spicy one. Clean ingredients. Um, then we got a bunch of apples. We still already have a ton of oranges and oranges and bananas, so we didn't need to buy any more of that. A cucumber and some fresh strawberries. So delicious. Delicious, yeah. So that is the fresh groceries for this week. Here's all of the groceries that I bought this month. Oh, whoa. All right, so the dinner items from my monthly grocery haul, they, I just totaled up and it was about $84 that I spent and that's out of our $500 monthly grocery budget. So let me know if this is helpful for you. If you'd like that, um, that substitution list do you think that would be helpful for you let me know all your questions down in the comments and stay tuned because i will have another video coming out soon that's going to show you all of this stuff that is the bulk of our monthly grocery haul that um that we use to feed our family for breakfast lunch and snacks thanks you guys so much for watching again don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new and give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was useful and if you really liked it I would love it and appreciate it if you shared it with your friends. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.